Hey there, how is the photo organizing going? Are you ready to throw in the towel, give up, and hire a pro to do the work for you? Well, hang on tight. We're gonna spill the beans a little bit today and talk about what the costs are for getting your photos organized. And I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to keep some of that money in your pocket. Did you even know that you could hire a professional photo organizer to manage your pictures for you? It's true. My name's Molly Bartelt and I own Pixology. We've been organizing people's photos for going on 10 years, millions of print and digital pictures. Of course, people want to know how much it costs. I can tell you that on average, it costs between a dollar and two dollars per photo to organize, scan, and preserve it, depending on what you all have going on, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the costs that are related to photo organizing. It's not, you're not just hiring a photo organizer, they do specific tasks, and we're gonna break that down. Then, I'm gonna tell you how to estimate how many pictures you have. Knowing how many you're starting with can kind of give you an idea of what cost you're looking at, okay? Lastly, I'm gonna share some cost-saving tips for you. Be sure to stay till the end because I have one tip that could potentially save you thousands and thousands of dollars. I am curious, would you really consider hiring a photo organizer? Put a yes or a no in the comments below. We are all about motivating and educating people on the importance of saving photos as well as how to do it. Definitely hit the subscribe and the bell button so that you can be notified each time we upload a new video. I categorize the costs of photo organization in this way. We have the organizing costs, the digitizing costs, and then the preserving costs. And lastly, the other types of media that sometimes get mixed up in your bins of photos. The first, organizing photos, deals with all of the work of taking a situation like this, where you have bins and boxes, all, everything's mixed up, and it's just a disaster, okay? So taking these kind of disorganized collections and then making them into this, what you see in these photos, where they're organized chronologically. Photo organizers, you know, like us, we generally seem to charge between 50 and $160 per hour to do the organizing work. Generally, photo organizers are looking to sell you a package of hours. Now, the hours needed can vary. We've had some of our clients just need an hour or two of organizing, and we've had some who've needed 50, 60, even over 100 or 200 hours of organizing. Hopefully, your project is on the low end of those hours. Next up is digitization, all right? This is where all those nice, neat batches of photos are now scanned into folders. Scanning can range from 59 cents a photo all the way up to $1.99 or more, depending on how many pictures you have, the condition they're in, and what company that you would pick to do the work. You can send your pictures off to an online company, and, and that's fine if you trust the process and that your pictures will be safe on the way. We recommend finding someone local to do it for you. The next type of cost is the preservation cost. So, so you have the physical pictures have been organized and you have the digital files. The physical pictures could be stored in the bins that you've delivered them or you could get these uh, boxes like from Michael's. They're inexpensive and they look nice. These archival boxes are great and I have a link for them below, but they are $130 a piece. So you may decide to purchase archival boxes, that's up to you. And uh, some people just throw their pictures away. The digital files should be returned to you on a USB drive or an external hard drive. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you back that up in a couple places, one inside the house and definitely one outside of the house. Your provider may even give you a link to download the pictures, so it, it kinda of depends on who you use. 
We like to recommend that digital files be stored in a forever permanent photo storage account. The cost of forever storage, you know, starts at $199, a one-time fee for 10 gigabytes. It is an investment, but we have found it to be the easiest way to share and do things with your pictures, as well as know that the photos will be passed on to future generations. The last area of cost, you know, when you hire a photo organizer could be the other types of media that are mixed in with your pictures. This could be reels of film, audio tapes, video tapes, maybe some of the memorabilia. Those, at least here at Pixology, we, we make a quote up um, and provide our clients with that as a separate project. So that kind of wraps up the four types of costs that I see, you know, included in photo organizing services. How could you estimate your pictures? I've got a few ways for you to do this, okay? So look at your albums and figure out, you know, how many pictures on average per page the album has and then multiply the pages by that number. So if you have a hundred page album, and you have, it looks like maybe four pictures per page, that's 400 photos, okay? If it's a smaller album, one of those little giveaway ones, they can hold between 24 and 100, all right? So that's albums. Then you might have stacks of photos. That's like this, all right? Here's a stack of photos. One inch of photos is about 100 pictures, all right? So that's a way to, to calculate it. Then you might have envelopes of photos. <laughs> Some envelopes are like a mishmash and pictures have been shuffled through the years and stuffed into the envelopes and some have never been opened so even the duplicates are in there but usually you know those photo envelopes might have like 24 pictures in them maybe up to 72 so you could multiply how many envelopes you have by <laughs> um, 24 pictures on average that would give you a number now remember even with the photo albums and the envelopes we're probably not keeping everything there's going to be a good amount of duplicates and bad pictures right but we're just trying to get an idea another place that people store those pictures in our shoe boxes and you know the photo boxes that you can get from the craft store those boxes hold about a thousand pictures so in this example, and I did ask my community to tell me how many pictures do you think are in these boxes? And I had answers ranging between 1,200 and 6,000. So the formula is 1,000 pictures per photo box. And in reality, when we got this all uncovered, we had about 3,700 pictures, all right? So you can estimate your pictures, jot your notes down, and then that'll give you an idea of like, Oh, <laughs> I have more than I thought. All right, no worries. In the organizing process, you are going to eliminate probably a quarter to a third or more of all of that. Now let's look at the math. Let's just say these four photo boxes, we did want to scan every picture. Never mind the organizing cost, because there's an organizing cost to that. But if it's 4,000 pictures, and then we want to scan them, even at the low end of 59 cents a rate, 4,000 pictures times 60 cents each, just round numbers, is $2,400. That's more money than a lot of people want to spend, even our clients. That's why I'm going to share with you some ways that you can save money on your photo organizing projects. The first is to do the organizations somewhat yourself. Take those albums, remove the pictures you want to keep, and I would recommend throwing the albums away, but that's a topic for another day. So get the pictures out of the albums, get them in neat little batches to start with, maybe do some cleaning up of what's in the bins and narrow it down what you're gonna give the photo organizer. If you don't have time to do that, then let the photo organizer weed out the repetitive pictures, the unnecessary pictures like landscapes with nobody in them. Let the photo organizer do some curation because a lot of photos really don't need to be saved. Back in the day when we took pictures with film, 
We saved every picture, even the bad ones, because he only got 24 of them. Another way that you can save money is to do the scanning yourself. Let the photo organizer clean everything up and give you your nice, neat batches, and then you scan them. You will want to purchase the Epson Fast Photo 680W scanner. It's about 600, maybe I've seen it for 500. On the Epson website, you can find refurbished ones sometimes for 400. And then scan them yourself. That high-speed scanner makes the work go pretty fast. And uh, for the, the dollar amount, you know, those 4,000 pictures, if you know we were to do it, we'd be charging $2,400. And you could do it for $600. And maybe someone else in your family would like to use that scanner next. You can also consider learning how to do all of this work yourself. We are passionate about teaching people and uh, we have a master class, you can see the link below, where we spend an hour telling you our system for organizing pictures. And if you need more help than that, you can schedule a time with me and I'll tell you about our full course and community. Let me give you a quick example of our work. This is Jen and she hired us to be her pixologist. We organized a ton of her memories. It was a big project. But when we were done, she said, you have restored my life. She had about 10,000 photos that we preserved for her. And when you use our formula of a dollar to two dollars per picture preserved, you can see this was quite an investment. You should watch her story, it's really cool. We consider saving memories to be priceless, but we're here to help you on the journey, save some money along the way, and enjoy your memories again. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you the next time.